So, we're in Pemberton. We've had a day off, rest and recovery. Got this nice postcard. Do you remember postcards? They still do them. When was the last time you wrote something to a friend? So I wrote this. I'm sending this to my good mate, Bo. We've been mates for ever. And he lives in the city with his partner. So I thought I'd write him something thoughtful. So here it goes. Don't start, I'll start. <laughs> My dearest Bo, long it has been since I wrote you last. The walking has been arduous, cold and wet. The cold has me powerless to resist the thought of those cherishable moments in your warm embrace. We're professionals, remember. <laughs> mm. The smell of your neck. <laughs> your sweet, tanned neck throbs in my memory. <laughs> the long, lonely nights in the huts reminds me of the quiet nights spent together naked by the fire. Every river I've walked along these last few weeks reminds me quite voraciously of your flow about life. Calm, purposeful, consistent, and inviting to all living things that witness you. Every huge tree that I pass reminds me of your tall, sheltering structure. The rationing of food reveals a hunger in me, but it doesn't compare to the hunger I find when I explore my heart and discover you there. My journey forward is purposeful but uncertain. I find solace in knowing you will stay true and wait for me. I remain unbashedly yours with love and anticipation, your Jake. Exo, Couple of blokes cooking their dinner on the fire while the shorts dry. Good morning. Hopefully you can see me. Um, <clears throat> poured down with rain last night in the hut. Jake and I uh, really struggled to sleep because it was just so loud. But we got a couple of hours. Uh, we did 23 kilometres yesterday in the uh, in the rain. And it looks like we've got about 29 kilometres today ahead of us, uh, likely in the rain again. It's just cleared up for a second, which is good news, because I've just put on my wet clothes. <laughs> um, and I was hoping I could start when it's not raining, so I can get the body warm, um, get moving, and then it can rain all at once, once I'm moving and warm. Um, Jake and I have been motiv motivating each other nicely this morning. Put the wet clothes on, get up early, get fed, get moving. Let's hit the track. Jake, very quickly, how are you feeling? Yeah, not bad. I didn't, I didn't have much sleep at all because, I mean, your head's right there and the tin roof is right there and then it's pouring with rain, so it was really loud. But I got about, I think I got a couple of hours somewhere in there. So, uh, feeling good. 
feet are cold. But oh, that's because there's nothing on. <laughs> um, yep, yeah, we're gonna get this done. That's fun. How you going, Naked Jake? How long does it take to get frostbite? Oh look, I've worn through a... Worn through. I don't think I'm going to be able to see you. From the um, grip on the handle. Oh yeah, too. I can't really move them. It's all road work today, guys. Yeah. We're going to have a surprise for you at the end of the day, though. Um, I'm going to put the camera away because it's fucking soaking. This is going to be up there with one of the harder things Jack and I have ever done. <laughs> um, 30k blast from the hut, in the cold, in the rain. We're getting flogged out here, hands are cold. Just keep walking. Get that rain in there. <laughs> Get it in the boot. I need all the rain. Fucking naked Jake and I are in the backpackers. We've got our security system here with the chair wedged in between Dougie's bed and the door. Because it's been, there have been a couple of questionable things about this place. There have been a couple, but we've got the room to ourselves. Um, this is my first ever night in the backpackers. Jake? I've spent, spent a while in backpackers. Good morning, just wanted to uh, share quickly with you my choice of hiking shoe, uh, which is not a hiking shoe at all. This is um, an ASICS uh, running shoe. I like this because it's super lightweight. Uh, it's a reasonably tough sole. It will flog out after a while uh, compared to a hiking shoe, which has a tougher, tougher uh, sole. Um, but it, I like it because it's lightweight. It dries relatively quickly compared to a, uh, a more dense shoe. And the toe, is not solid, so your toes aren't flicking up and hitting a solid end, which makes you lose toenails. So I've got a soft end, and I don't have that problem. After a rest day in Pemberton, Jake and I are leaving town. Feeling good, feeling happy, body feels good. Uh, 23-ish k's today uh, towards Warren Hut. Perfect weather for it. past a place called Gloucester Tree, uh, one of the few remaining uh, trees in West Australia that you can climb. You might be able to see there's a bloke just in there, halfway up it, I'll give you a bit of a look at it. She is 53 metres above ground, right up to look at. It feels taller when you stand next to her. Big girl, real big girl. Some brave person there, he's heading down. He's braver than me. Not gonna no, I know. <laughs> I think it's mental. <laughs> I'll get halfway up and have a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Absolute gorgeous specimen. She is. Uh, originally used for fire watching, I believe. Now used for tourism. What a banger, absolute stark contrast compared to when we were last walking, mate. Absolute perfect day. Oh, she's slippery. Jack has a look at the map there. Just admiring a um, the remnants of a bit of telephone cable up there. Very old school, they've utilized the tree Just, just screwed it straight in the tree in the old times. And if this is the condition of that road, that's a good thing. Because when I'm thinking about. When I'm thinking about this, this road here, 
same sort of dotted thing and if we're looking at that then that can be what we can expect. While I've got the viewer I'll just tell them the quick story about uh, why you've got one red pole and one black pole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I've got a matching pair of black poles. Jake has one red pole, one black pole, identical make and model of pole but um, we went on a BCF date and there was four poles, three black, <laughs> one red <laughs> and it was decided by a scissors paper rock. Um, I won the scissors paper rock and I, like the conformist I am, <laughs> I went with the double black pole and Jake was left with the red and black. But it's worked out alright because yours, one of yours is slightly shorter than the other. Um, I could have them the same size, but it just feels, this feels balanced to me. So maybe I've got a hobble or something in the way that I walk. But the left being shorter, I've adjusted it that way and that works, that feels balanced. But together, see the difference in that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they're on, they're on level ground then. There's a good inch and a, maybe two. Yeah. There. No, it just feels perfect like that, which is strange. Well, there you go. Very fashionable, mate. Mm. <laughs> and that's the story of Jake's pole. <laughs>